Hello guys. Thanks for joining me today to take a look at a very special Mopar muscle car. This is a 1964 Dodge A864 Hemi Super Stock. Now that is based on the Dodge 330 two-door sedan. And this car was one of just 55 built in 1964. It is the first model to feature the race 426 Hemi engine. And part of this package means that this car is equipped with special lightweight panels throughout. So the whole front end of the car, the front fenders, the hood, the hood scoop, and the doors are all lightweight aluminum. The front bumper for the 1964 race Hemis was made out of a thin gauge steel with aluminum lightweight brackets. Other features of this package include the two headlight grill as opposed to four. This car has a single windshield wiper blade, no mirrors, You'll notice the side glass is plexiglass in the driver's and the rear three-quarter window. The front quarter window is glass, and on this side, you'll notice still has an old race decal. And the rear glass in the car is a special thin corning safety glass. It still has its original label right here. And it has a decal from Alton Dragway in Alton, Illinois. Other features of the A864 package include an eight and three quarter inch rear axle fit with a 456 to one sure grip differential with a pinion snubber. The body lacks any sort of seam sealer or undercoating. And there've been various measures inside the car to reduce weight as well. You'll notice right away, it's fit with Bostrom's A100 van seats. The dash lacks any sort of dash pad. There's no sun visors, and it's also heat and radio delete. The rear seat has also been omitted and special thin carpeting is installed. Now what makes this car special isn't that it has any sort of significant competition history, but it's the originality. This car was bought in Illinois it was actually purchased new at Mr. Norm's Grand Spalding Dodge to its first owner in Illinois who campaigned the car sparingly from 1964 to 1968. The car was always trailered to events and was not raced very hard. After that, the car went into long-term storage until about 2005 when it was restored. One of the other major headlines on this car is that it is believed to have just over 570 original miles. This car was inspected by Galen Govier in 2005, at which time he recorded the mileage at 232 miles. 
So the car has a correct 1964 race Hemi block fit with the correct 1964 only Hemi K iron heads, which can be identified by this small curvature to clear the distributor. It's fit with the correct aluminum short ram intake manifold and the correct Holly 770 CFM carburetors. So we're gonna take a quick look around with the magnet behind a rag to show you the aluminum panels on the car. So let's start off with some steel. We've got our magnets well protected by this rag. Straighten them out here. You can see the magnets are drawn to the steel of the quarter panel and the trunk. But now we go to the door, nothing. The front fender, nothing. And we lost them. And as specific to the 64 race Hemi, thin gauge steel bumper, they are indeed drawn to. Let's get the other quarter panel. Nothing. And the other door. Furthermore, this car is actually fit with aluminum door hinges. Nothing. Whereas the steel, they're drawn to. Some other details that are interesting about this car is that it boasts original interior upholstery. These Bostrom's van seats are very difficult to find. And these are said to have original upholstery, which you can see from areas like this, they're aged, but not worn. They're aged here, but not worn. And they're on their original lightweight bolt-in brackets. Other areas of the interior that you can tell are original are the door cards, which are special door cards that have no armrests for these doors. They've got a slight bit of water staining on them from the Lex or the plexiglass windows, but they are original to the car. Areas like this, you can see some age in the headliner, but it's all in very good condition. See some original wiring there. believe the carpet has been replaced with the correct style carpeting. We have some auxiliary Stuart Warner gauges fitted below the dash and this nice vintage Sun Super Tac has been with the car a long time. Now if we go around to the other side Notice more originality in the seats. I believe there's a small flaw right here, which is very hard to notice, especially with the lap belts. Here we have the odometer. 
showing just over 573 miles, which are believed to be original to the car. Here we have the famous or infamous 727 push button torque flight transmission, which with these Hemi cars was a full reverse manual valve body transmission. And in these transmissions, the parking tab from right here that slides into park is omitted in these cars. Here's a look at the other door card. Now, the whole door is aluminum. So there's some wear showing on the door. But overall, it's in very nice condition. It closes with a nice firm shut. This car is fit with Pro Track tires. We have some torque thrust style wheels that are in the style of the original wheels that would have come on this car. We have a slightly wider steely on the back with Pro Track Street Pro Rubber. Another feature of these cars is they were not equipped with reverse lights. These Hemis were also fit with a special exhaust that has cutouts further up and a single transverse muffler in the rear, which was mainly just to get the car out of the factory and onto the trailer. There you can see the exhaust cutouts and that wild Hemi exhaust system. One other interesting feature of this car is that it was never tubbed. The sheet metal, most of the sheet metal is believed to be original to the car. You can see an interesting area in front of both of the rear wheels where the original owner of the car massaged that opening a little bit for a little bit of additional tire clearance. In the restoration, it was decided to leave this originality to the car's history. In addition to the auxiliary gauges inside, during the restoration, they also elected to install foam in the tops of the fenders so that they would not get chipped by rocks from the inside. Here you can see those aluminum front bumper brackets. The front bumper is very thin, it takes about that much force to bend it. Here you can see the dimpled shock tower that the race Hemis are known for. And you can see much of the original wiring was retained during the restoration. So these days, the car is a, runs great and it's a, it starts and runs great. It has not been driven much though. Everything works great, but it was elected by many of the owners and restorers not to drive the car out of respect for the low original mileage. So now let's go into the trunk quick with our 
special aluminum key blanks. So here you can see the trunk was restored in the original spirit of the car. Here you have a bracket, the bracket set up for the 135 amp battery that would be fit to the trunk to improve weight transfer. That battery is included with the car, but is not fitted at this time. So have some labeling. Everything presents very well. We have some more original wiring here. So again, this is one of just 55 Hemi Super Stock Dodges built in 1964, fit with the A864 race Hemi and lightweight aluminum bodywork. Cars are very hard to come by, especially with such striking originality. Next, we're gonna go for a short drive in the car to show you how well it drives, but we're not gonna go very far out of respect for the low original miles on this car. Thank you.